Good evening, everyone. I would like to give you a brief summary of the ancient galactic wars that took place in our Milky Way. So if you thought Star Wars was fiction, well, guess again. It turns out that the real wars in our galaxy took place millions and millions of years ago between two alien groups, okay? So the first ones, the benevolent ones who were our ancestors, were the Lyrans. The Lyrans originated in the constellation of Sirius B in the star system of Vega on a planet called Avion. From Avion, they peacefully expanded over into Avalon. From Avalon, they expanded over to Apex and, and populated gradually the constellation of Lyra. And from that point, they set out on a peaceful exploration to explore the Milky Way in service to the Law of One, which is service to others. Now, on the other hand, we also had the Draco Reptilians, who originated in the Alpha Draconis system and also in the Sigma system, which is in Lower Orion. And from Lower Orion, they expanded their empire to the Regal system, the Betelgeuse system, and the Bellatrix system. And Zeta Reticula I eventually became overpowered by them, as well as Zeta Reticula II. From those six systems, the Draco gradually wanted to bring a galactic empire to the entire galaxy. But, however, if it wasn't for the Lyrans who opposed the Empire, we would have never been here at this point winning the final war against evil. Let me explain. So the Lyrans, when they explored the Ring Nebula, they came across the Draco for the first time. And it wasn't a good thing because the Draco had an opposite philosophy to the Lyrans. The Draco believed in service to self. And they believed that anything that they came across, it was theirs to own and conquer, conquer, conquer. So what they did is they started battling with the Lyrans. Eventually, because the Dracos had more advanced technological weaponry, they were able to kill off as many Lyrans as possible in the Ring Nebula. As a result of that... Word got to the king of Lyra of planet Avion in Avalon and they were informed that the Draco were out to eventually go to the Lyra system and, and uh, kill off most of the Lyrans. So what the Lyrans did in order to preserve the humanoid species is they branched out to different parts of the galaxy. So they went to the Pleiadian system, they went to Arcturus, they went to Sirius, they went to the Hadar system, they went to the Alpha Centauri system, the Epsilon Eridani system, just to name a few in order to secure the human race, our ancestors, where we come from. And so when the Draco first landed in the Lyran constellation, uh, the first Holocaust in our galaxy took place. They killed off 500 million Lyrans, okay? But luckily, most of the Lyrans had already escaped in refuge. That was the first galactic diaspora, okay? Eventually, the war reached the Orion Empire, and some of the Lyrans had already, from Vega, had already moved to Orion and began negotiating with the Draco. So eventually, what was known as the Draco Galactic Empire became the Orion Empire with, when some of the Draco seduced some of the humanoid vegans. But at the same time, the different branches that took refuge in these other solar systems from the humanoid side of Lyra began to create a coalition of light that later became the Confederation of Planets. Eventually, the Confederation of Planets developed into the Galactic Federation of Free Worlds. However, in Orion, some of the free humans who didn't believe in joining the Orion Empire began to rebel against the Orion Empire and they developed what became known as the Black League. The Black League was the resistance of Orion and they operated from the upper region of Orion and they've been battling the Orion Empire for millions of years. Eventually the Black League joined the Galactic Federation and as a result of that the Galactic Federation of Free Worlds begin to win the war against the Draco Orion Empire. Now, this whole galactic war took place for millions and millions of years. I just want you to understand that many planets and solar systems were devastated and destroyed due to this galactic fiasco. Now, in my book, I reveal this in greater detail and how it also connects to the suppressed history of our planet. In order to understand how we ended up here on the Earth, uh, and how, you know, there was four great seedings before the fifth seeding, because now we're part of the fifth seeding. Atlantis was the fourth, Lemuria, Hyperborea, and Polaria. So in order to understand the real prehistory of our world, not the stuff that they teach us in school, it's very important that you 
order, our cosmic origin, because again, this book is a book designed for those who are meant to awaken to a multidimensional reality in order to understand where we really come from. Okay, so I just wanted to leave that with you guys, give you guys a brief explanation of the Galactic Wars and how it all ended up here with the victory of the lights. So I hope everybody has a wonderful week.